One of the principles of clear and effective writing is avoiding the use of verbal deadwood. No, he's not the brother of Carrie Underwood. And no, he wasn't born in Hollywood. Direct ang pangit ng script. So verbal deadwood are useless filler words that do not add any meaning or value to your sentence. Some examples of verbal deadwood are Tring, rock, sloop, vlock, during ding ding. Now, some of these words are used in oral communication to emphasize a point, but in written communication, you're just wasting a lot of space. How do you know if a word is a verbal deadwood? Madali lang. Tanungin mo, verbal deadwood ka ba? Direct, hindi talaga maganda. Ayoko na. You will know if it's a useless or meaningless word or phrase if, by removing it from your sentence, your sentence will still sound the exact same thing the way you want it to. Let's take a look at this sentence for example. It is worthy to note that there is actually nothing wrong, really, with encouraging people to register to vote, obviously. Now, let's remove the verbal deadwood. There is nothing wrong with encouraging people to register to vote. Did the meaning change? Guess not. Madali lang. Remove mo lang sa buhay mo yung mga walang kwentang bagay. Cut! Okay, let's pack up! Salamat. Sunset na direct.